Yo, Jillian here. Also, is a Beard Thrift Machine coming to you from South Carolina. Today, we're going to go over real quick what sold for me over $20 in the last week. So, go ahead and stay tuned. Alright y'all, like I said, we're going to go over real quick what sold for me over $20 in about the last week. These aren't all my sales, but these are some good ones that hopefully you can go out there and find and make some money yourself. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. And my name is Julian. And about eight months ago, I quit my full-time yeah. career that I was in for 10 years to go ahead and start doing full-time eBay. It's been crazy ever since this last eight months, but I'm doing pretty good. Only source of income is reselling. So it is, it's, I'll tell you what, it's a hustle, but it's a good hustle. Let's go ahead and get started with some what's sold. So hopefully y'all can go out there and find these things for cheap and then make you some money. This one right here is going to be a lot of three Harley Davidson shirts. Only one was vintage, which were short sleeve. The other two were long sleeve. They were destination shirt, shirts. One was from Korea, one was from New York City, and one was from Florida. Like I said, I got uh, two dollars a piece and thirty-five dollars free shipping is what they sold for. They did go in a pad of flat rate for seven fifty-two, so I made some decent money there. And they took about two days to sell. These right here, if Roller Derby VTEX, these were actually in a YouTube video. They're, they were the ones that were adjustable that I couldn't figure out how to adjust them, but they are adjustable and I spent $10 on them at a Goodwill a while back, probably about three weeks now, maybe a month. But they sold for $55 and the buyer did pay shipping. I usually, whenever I find roller derby stuff, they sell very quickly and for over $50. So they're pretty good to look out for. Just comp them out when you're in the store. They look brand new, no use on them, so that's why I picked them up. This one right here sold today. It took about a week. This is a vintage single stitch Harley Davidson. It was single stitch, with, but the print on it actually did not have a date, but the shirt itself was single stitch. And I got it for $2, and this one sold for $29, and the buyer did pay shipping. And again, that didn't take that long to sell this one right here sold super fast probably within the first 12 hours this was just a graphite shaft ping tfc 129 uh regular graphite shaft i'm in the profit on all this so this one cost me nothing at this point so and i got 21 dollars and the buyer did pay shipping i know the graphite shafts are light but when you get over a certain size in length that it has to go priority that's why the shipping was 750 on that this one right here i bought a lot of um nes super nintendo games and n64 and stuff like that uh about a week ago i posted one su super nintendo game and a guy bought it almost immediately for 15 dollars. he then asked what else i had i had to go through some stuff so the next day i took this picture sent it to him i had one really good game in here that goes for super expensive about 90 to 100 dollars on one game but i have no way to test these or clean them i'm not a gamer guy i don't like do video games so i just shot him this picture i shot him a price at 110 he said yes so i sold all these games for 110 dollars and again they took less than 30 seconds to sell and the buyer did pay shipping on that all right, this one right here took about two months to sell. These are heads only King Snake Iron Set, uh, oversized left hand at four to nine. Uh, again, I'm in the uh, profit on these, so it was forty-five dollars plus shipping. This one is the Torridge Exotics. You probably, if you watched my channel before, you're going to see the same exact driver. That's because this one was a return. The guy didn't Aww. like it. Returned it. I sold it again. I'm probably breaking even on this, but it did sell for $50 twice. So this one would be a good one to look out for if you can get it for cheap. But like I said, I'm breaking even because of the return. And I do free returns, so I had to pay for the return shipping and then all that nonsense. But I sold it. Broke even. I'm happy. The next one is a Microsoft L5V. This was just a keyboard, but it was in really good condition, almost looked brand new, and it went for $59, and the buyer did um, pay shipping on this. I paid $7, it only took about two weeks to sell. This was also in a um, thrift haul video, and those Microsoft things do sell pretty quick. This right here is definitely a bolo if you're out at any thrift store. I uh, usually see them in yard sales or pen spinning reels made in the United States, so they gotta be made in the United States. This one right here went for $55, the buyer did pay shipping this one worked properly but even if they are broken still pick up the old pen reels that are gold like that they're going to sell for a ton of money go ahead and comp some of those old ones out online they can go for 150 200 easy some more than that but even if they're broken people love the parts on them because they're really well built so that one didn't take long to sell for about a week and i didn't have much into that one about ten dollars on an auction this one right here 
$3 at a yard sale. Did take probably about a week to sell. And I did get this a while back. It just took me a long time to actually list it because the handle was loose. I took it apart, cleaned it, put it back together. The handle was still loose. So I did put that. That's why it says in the description, read because I, I, I explained the handle's loose, but it's super clean. But this was a Stanley Bailey number six hand planer vintage, 18 inches. And it went for $51. The buyer did pay shipping. The thing with this is that if it says Bailey on it, go ahead and comp some of those out on eBay if you see them because it seems like they go for a lot more money and they're more sought after so that was a very good flip this one right here is just a golf club Cleveland tour action but this one for $21 and the buyer did pay shipping turns out that Cleveland is a really good golf name like I said I'm sorry all the golf guys I didn't know but like I, this one went for very quickly $21 buyer did pay shipping so that's good I'm in the profit on all that and this one was from I think like two or three auctions ago I got a polo Ralph Lauren pink full zip hoodie it was brand new with the tags the actual MSRP on this was like $168 don't know who would pay $168 for this, but it did sell for $35 and the buyer did pay shipping, so that's over my $20 mark. So hopefully this has been educational. Hope you can go out there and find some of this stuff, especially the old, you know, pen spinning reels and the old tools and stuff, because that stuff sells fairly quickly. Even clothing recently has been selling pretty fast. My sales are doing pretty good. Today's been a little slower, but I'm not complaining. But hopefully this has been educational. Hopefully you can go out there and find some of these items and make yourself some money. And you know I will catch you on the next one.